Hi all. In this video, we're going to see about red cell indices. So this may not be asked as a part of a essay or a short essay, but it can be as asked as a part of your MCQ or even in your practical examinations. So we'll see what they are. So basically, there are three important red cell indices. The first one is mean corpuscular volume or MCV. So mean corpuscular volume is nothing but the average volume of an RBC. And remember that unit is femtoliters. So there's a formula to calculate this MCV, which is hematocrit into 10 divided by RBC crown. Hematocrit is otherwise called pack cell volume. So pack cell volume into 10 divided by RBC count. And the normal range is around 78 to 96 femtoliter. So if it is lesser than 78, it is microcytic. If it is more than 96, it is macrocytic. So the next index is the mean corpuscular hemoglobin. So it is defined as the average weight of hemoglobin in an RBC and it is expressed as picograms. So the formula is hemoglobin in gram per deciliter into 10 divided by RBC count in millions per millimeter cube. The normal range is around 27 to 33. So if the hemoglobin concentration is less than 20 then we can say it as hypochromic and most mostly it will be associated with a microcytic anemia the third index is mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration it is the average hemoglobin concentration per unit volume of packed red cells so the formula of mchc is hemoglobin in gram per deciliter into 100 divided by pcv and the normal range is around 33 to 37 here also, it is considered as hypochromic if the percentage is between 20 to 25. Now, this MCHC is the most reliable indicator because it is the average concentration per unit volume. It does not take into account the uh, size of the RBC. So, this is considered as the most um, reliable indicator of RBC. Then we've got a color index which is defined as a ratio of hemoglobin percent to RBC percent. So the formula is hemoglobin percent divided by RBC percentage and the normal range is around 0.85 to 1.1. Here again if it is less than 0.85 it is considered as hypochromic anemia. So now as we've just we've just got an introduction of what the RBC indices are, we'll now see some calculation questions that can be asked based on this. So Calculate the mean cell volume and comment on whether it falls within the normal range, microcytic or macrocytic. So they have given all the three, hemoglobin, PCV and RBC count. So now how will we calculate the MCV? So remember the formula for MCV is hematocrit divided by RBC count into 10. So from the question you can see that the hematocrit or the PCV is 48 and the RBC count is 4. So on substituting that you will get the value 120 femtoliter. Do not forget the um, unit, it is femtoliter. Now since we said that the normal range is between 78 to 96 and since 120 is greater than the normal range, you can say that this is macrocytic. As you can see in macrocytic anemia such as uh, vitamin B12 deficiency or pernicious anemia. So that is how you can calculate the MCV. Now here comes the next question. Calculate the MCH. Here again, you've got three, uh, all the three values are given. So now we'll substitute. So MCH, as we said before, is hemoglobin divided by RBC count into 10. So from the question, you can substitute the values and we'll get it as 23.81. So what was the normal range? It was around 27 to 33 picogram. So in this case, we can say that it is hypochromic. Okay, so it is hypochromic microcytic anemia. And finally, the third one, calculate the MCHC. Here also, they have given all the three values. So what is the formula for MCHC? It is hemoglobin divided by PCV into 100. So here, as when we substitute, we will get it as 33.33. From this value, when you substitute it, you will get the value as 33.33. Now, since the normal range is 33 to 37, here we can say that the MCHC is normal. So thus, we have seen all the three major blood cell indices. So remember, these are the formulas. So see, for mean cell volume and mean cell hemoglobin, mean corpuscular volume and mean corpuscular hemoglobin, the denominator is RBC count. Okay, for MCV and MCH, the denominator is RBC count. For volume, the numerator is hematocrit or PCV. 
for hemoglobin the numerator is hemoglobin okay it is the change is only for mchc where it is hemoglobin divided by hematocrit into 100 so if you remember it like that it will be more easier remember the denominator for mcv and mch is rpc count okay so thus i hope this video is useful for you thank you